Hey, Dan here, and in this video, I'm gonna share what I think is the best way for an ENFP to focus their business or to pick a niche so that they don't run into struggles in the long run. Now, just before I get to that, this is a pretty special week starting out here. As many of you know, my mission here with the channel and in life in general is to help you become the best version of yourself, all while creating the most awesome life possible for you and those you love. One of the ways that I do that is through a program I offer called the Free Freelancer. It's a year long group coaching program for freelancers, coaches, and consultants. And this week is one of those times that happens twice a year where the program is open until Friday, for admission. So in celebration of that, the videos all this week are going to be themed around entrepreneurship, which works pretty well because most ENFPs I've ever met aren't exactly enthusiastic about working for someone else and taking orders or being a cog in some big corporate machine. Now, when it comes to picking your focus as an ENFP, there's a lot to consider. Much of the typical marketing advice out there says to get hyper-focused, pick an exact niche, right? And this can work. I have a client now, she actually joined the free freelancer last fall and she's hyper-focused in health coaching around women who have had gastric bypass surgery and are looking to make lifestyle changes after. That is a hyper-focus. And in her case, it was really aligned with what she wanted to do. She was very clear from the beginning about wanting to work with this audience and it has led to getting clients already and, and starting off a very successful business. So it can work being hyper-focused, but one one of the risks if you do this artificially as an ENFP is, guess what? We get bored really easily, right? So if you just pick a niche because you hear from some marketing expert that you're supposed to have a really focused niche, you're gonna end up in trouble a couple months into it when you just get bored of that or you don't really wanna just talk about the same thing over and over again. Content marketing, making videos, doing podcasts, writing about the topic that you help people with is a really powerful way to grow your business. But you have to be really passionate. Trust me on this, you have to be passionate passionate about it and excited to talk about it over and over and over again. And so if you just pick some really specific area like, well, I offer advice to men between the ages of 27 and 31 who have video game addictions and recently have been divorced, maybe because of their video game addictions, that sounds good and I almost guarantee you will get clients when you start out because it's so specific. But if you build all your brand and your whole business about that, you're gonna run into some very serious issues because more than likely as an ENFP, you are going to get bored of talking about the same thing over and over again and working with the exact same people. So what's the solution? Well, there's two parts to it. The first part is when you're building your overall brand, like what people know you as, keep it general enough to give yourself some flexibility. So often I recommend to my clients, just use your own name or use something. And this actually wasn't my intention when I came up with Dreams Around the World. It actually came to me in a bit of a dream when I was napping in Germany. But the nice thing about Dreams Around the World is it embodies, I think, what I'm about, but it gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of what I can talk about it, right? So keep your overall brand somewhat general so you have some flexibility in where you can go in the future. Because restarting your Facebook page, restarting your YouTube channel, when you change directions is painful. You do not want to do that. You want to be able to bring the people with you who've already grown to love you and follow you to your next stage. You can then have various niches that you focus on in terms of types of your content or products you offer. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the free freelancer, the program I do. That is a very focused program for freelancers and coaches who often, but not always, want to be location independent so they can travel, set their own schedule, all that kind of stuff. That is a focused program I offer and I have some videos on my channel here, I'll link to them, that are very focused around those types of topics. But despite buying the domain name, I did not call my brand the free freelancer because it was never my intention to just talk about that subject. That is one of the ways that I help people and work with people. So you can build your bigger brand around even let's just say your name, and then within that have two or three different categories that you talk about a lot. That gives you the specificity so people can really connect with you and see you as an expert in a small amount of topics, but it also gives you the freedom you need as an ENFP to 
change direction in the future and cover a variety of topics to keep it interesting for you. Now, the second strategy you can use is to focus on beliefs and desires instead of demographic. You'll often hear people like so-called marketing experts who maybe aren't that much of experts talking about age, gender, marital status, these sorts of things in terms of how to target who you work with. There are definitely times that this is a valuable bit of knowledge to have and where you will want to target around it. But in many cases, you can be more effective focusing focusing on people's beliefs. Maybe you work with people who value freedom and autonomy in their lives. Or maybe you work with people who believe that love should be abundant and monogamy is crazy. Maybe you work with people who believe life is about service and giving to others. Those are powerful beliefs that you can speak to without having to narrow it down to a certain gender, a certain country, a certain income bracket, for instance. So those are the two strategies I would recommend when focusing your business as an ENFP. Number one, keep your overall brand and your name broad enough to have some flexibility to change in the future and to cover a variety of topics. And number two, to focus on the beliefs and the desires of the people you want to work with rather than getting into really specific demographics. Now, if you're lucky enough to have caught this video in time, I should mention that I'm hosting a live special event this Wednesday. I'll link to it below in the description and a card pop up for it. You can head over to the page. You do need to register, but it is entirely free. Love to see you out there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will catch you in the next video soon.